I need some examples to understand Burke and link it all together. Sure, it is like established stereotypes. Like marriage and how typically it is a man and a woman, or what we imagine when someone uses the term hippie. A tree hugger that does not wear shoes. Exactly, why not a nature lover, someone who enjoys and takes care of the world around us. Burke uses what he calls a dramatistic pentad to rhetorically analyze our perspectives in five elements, act, scene, agent, agency, purpose. Let's analyze the Christmas party. Fun. Fun. So the act is office Christmas party, the agents are me and you, the agency is you sleeping with a boss, and the purpose is the raise you wanted. Ha ha. Good times. Totally. You did get a raise? Right? Anyways. All these things work together for what purpose? For a process we call identification, we use all these things to project our images or ideals onto others through, reflecting, selecting, and deflecting. What? We unconsciously reflect what we believe exists, then we select what it is we feel is being said, and finally we deflect any other reality that does not concur with our truth. So, in perspective, when obtaining truth we only relate within our own filters. When we are trying to persuade others we use that process of identification so we can relate to the audience, and the audience to us. So the need to connect to persuade is met through identification. Right, the speaker must have similar definitions of symbols, and understand their filters to establish common elements. I think I get it now, thank you. You're welcome.